Hi everyone. This is a drawing of Ammonite um, that I did uh, for my solo exhibition Nature's Patterns. Um, lovely to do. Um, a lot of the work in here was done with Scraffito. So the spines that you can see that look raised up are actually Scraffito and then I've shaded around them with a variety of Faber-Castell pencils. So I'm going to take you through a little bit of the detail to, to show you how I did various sections. This is called an embossing tool, uh, which you use uh, for card making. When you make a score into the card to fold it, you can get them from craft shops, get them online. Uh, you could use a darning needle uh, it, and it's called Scraffito Technique. Essentially what I'm doing um, is making an impression in the paper, pressing into it, making sure that I have got several layers of paper underneath first so that I've got a nice cushioning. And basically what I'm doing is trying to push it in on areas that I want to look as if they're raised up. Now I'm shading over with a B pencil and you can see where I'm shading over, where I've had an indentation, the white paper is showing through. This graffito technique um, you may have seen in my fur uh, demonstration video and it's exactly the same technique. Except for this, for it to look as if it's standing out, you then have to apply additional shading to it um, because you have to show the effects of light and shadow. Because obviously if an area is standing up and looking as if it's coming out towards you, there is a shadow on one of the sides on the opposite direction of the light source. So I'm working into this um, with my pencil. Notice that when I shaded over the top, I used the side of the pencil and that was to ensure that the pencil end didn't actually go in to the indentation. Right, now I've changed pencil to an HB and I'm doing what um, we refer to, my students know very well, as squircling, which is actually not a squiggle, it's an odder circle. It's actually using the pencil very, very close to the end, moving it in very small, minute shading uh, action. So you're just moving the end of the pencil around and making marks uh, so it looks as if that you've got texture showing on the surface. Here I'm using the side of the pencil um, to pick up the natural tooth in the paper. The paper I'm using is 220 GSM Windsor & Newton cartridge paper smooth surface which does have a little bit of tooth to it so if you use a higher B grade pencil anything from well anything from HB up um, the higher the B grade that's the softness of the pencil and the amount of graphite content the more tooth will show because you've got a higher amount of graphite to pick up the tooth. Now if I'd just gone in and just used the Scraffito and not done any of this squirkling and um, this work with the pencil afterwards it would have looked quite stark. Um, so a lot of the work on this was done afterwards. I haven't used Scraffito all over. Um, sometimes I've just used the side of the pencil on its own um, and here you can see I'm using a pointed tip eraser that's a mono zero Tombow mono zero fine eraser which as it says on the tin is very fine you can cut it straight through uh, and use it on the edge and it will take out subtle areas that you want to erase so it's a little bit softer than Scraffito When you're doing your Scraffito, you do have to be careful how you apply it. Um, this obviously, if you, if you put it in in a scribble uh, without any consideration, um, then all you're going to show, all it's going to show up is a scribble. 
I would say when you're practicing Scrofito, um, just try on several sheets of paper, get different, it's about four sheets of paper from your pad. Don't use the pad at the top of your pad because everything that you press onto that sheet will then go through to the sheets underneath it. So take about three or four sheets out, turn over the pad so that you're on the back of it and then put your paper, four pieces of paper on there, use your embossing tool and just make some marks on the paper. Also try um, using different pressure because obviously the more pressure you put in and therefore the deeper the indentation in the paper, um, the more white is going to show up. If you do a very light mark, it's not going to be the same. You can see the spines underneath my hand here. Um, they were used, that was just with a, a large embossing tool. You can get packs of three or four usually where you've got different size uh, points to them. Some are quite big and some are very fine. And usually when you're doing this sort of subject, you're going to get quite a variety of different shapes and different areas that you're going to need. So if you use a variety of different embossing tools, you're going to get the best, the best effect. So essentially what I've done is to go in where the spines are um, with a larger embossing tool and then I've shaded around on the side. You can see that they look as if they're standing out because I have used graduation on either side of the spines. The area I'm working on now, as you can see, is texture technique, just using the pencil on its side just to pick up texture. Right, so here I am using squircling technique again. So here I'm actually working around the natural tooth of the paper that was left when I used the pencil on the side. For those of you that have done um, texture technique before, this is exactly the same. And it's very, very similar to when you're drawing Afro hair, um, when you're doing wool, when you're doing any texture. Remember to use the side of the pencil a lot. Use the paper because it means you have less work to do. If you're using a very, very smooth paper such as Bristol board, you won't get such a textured effect. Um, you do need to have cartridge paper. The reason I recommend 220 GSM is because it does need to be that heavy. That's the grams per square meter weight. Um, to withstand all of these layers that you're putting on. If you use 150 GSM, which is your normal sketching cartridge paper, you're very likely to go through it, particularly if you're using Scrofito. Another paper you can think about using is hot pressed paper. Use the smooth side. So here, this is just again using, uh, here I'm using a 2B pencil on the side very lightly and now I'm using pointed tip eraser just to take out areas of highlight that I want to. All together in this drawing um, I've used pencils between H all the way down to 3B and here again I'm doing Scrofito technique and I'm shading over the top the side of a 2B pencil and look, you can see where I've made the indentation. You can see the effect that's achieved. And now you can see me shading at the side of it so that it appears to the eye as if that area that I've just taken out is standing out. thing about doing this sort of subject is that it is quite free. Um, you do have a bit of leeway. Um, you can be quite experimental. 
the thing to remember is to build up lots of layers um, as with ev everything that you're doing in a photorealistic way the more layers you build up the better you, your effect is going to be right and here I'm still working into it using 2B again working in around the areas using 3B and 2B just to try and get a little bit more depth in in between the different sections of the ammonite so here you go drawing of ammonite I hope you enjoyed it